Our Father, we thank you for, first and foremost, giving us life, health, and strength. It is in you that we move, live, and have all our being. And we thank you for that, Father. We pray for each and every one that mm-hmm. has decided to come out and participate. Mm-hmm. And we pray, Father, that you bless them according to your will and not our will. Because we know you know the best and all the right things for us. And as we are blessed of you, everything else will be all right. So bless us in this day, Father, lead God and direct us all day long. And bless those, Father, who have a desire to be here for some reason or another. They're not here, but if they're on their way, we're praying for them, Father, and we're praying that you give them traveling mercies. And we're also praying for Brother MK, where he is, Father, you can give him the option, the word to speak, whatever it is that you have to say for your people, Father. And thank you for this ministry and all that's abroad. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. 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 At this time, we will have the reading of the fourth commandment by Elder Royce. Amen. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the seventh day of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, any work. That nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maid, nor thy maid, nor thy cows. Know thy strangers that is within thy gate. In six days the Lord may have in love the sea and all that was the means. And what is the seventh day? Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Um, at this time, we will now have our healthy living segment, which will be followed by our opening hymn by. The Hollies, and I, I say the Hollies because God always <laughs> surprises us. We don't know who, how many. We just know we will be abundantly blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> with with that, um, our healthy living segment is um, entitled Vitamin B12, and um, last on Sabbath, for the Sabbath opening study, we talked about vitamin B6 and the importance of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, For those who are hearing this for the first time, our healthy living segments, um, I was impressed to sum up with the, based on um, a recent segment that we had on the complete health message. And we, We've been talking about the eight laws of health, which are God's mm-hmm. natural remedies for healthy living. Mm-hmm. Uh, but to understand the health, the healthy, the eight laws and the healthy living segment and the health message in its totality, mm-hmm. uh, what we've what we've been talking about is that mm-hmm. everything um, boils down to really our our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, that's right. And that is that is the complete health message, which is yeah. the, the scriptures talk about when we, when we eat his flesh and we drink his blood, well, we know Jesus is the bread of life. Yes, yeah. amen. And we know that he is the living water. That's right. And so that that is the complete health message. That's what we need to sustain us but it is all inclusive with the eight laws of health and the and his Ten Commandment law, which uh, we transgress in one. We're mm-hmm. guilty of all, and we also know that the relationship between sin and sickness that sin brings on sickness. Yes, and Amen. so we we know it's possible to live without sin <laughs> through through a relationship. Um, with Jesus Christ, when we allow him to live in us, in and through us, Uh, Mm -hmm. then and only then can we live perfect in, in, in Jesus. So with that, moving on to vitamin B12, and um, if I could get anyone to share, like, what was maybe the biggest takeaway from the B6, just as a quick recap, um, anything anything at all that, and it doesn't have to be the biggest takeaway, but just a key takeaway from concerning vitamin B6, the, which was the healthy living topic, Sabbath evening. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
when I learned that it was good for uh, epilepsy, which is a big one. Uh, Amen. Praise God. People that have epilepsy mm -hmm. and, you know, it's something to think about if they can you know, ingest some of these six and kind of stop those epileptic episodes. And, you know, I feel like that's that only in itself is a is a blessing to just know that. Praise and it's, God. And it's good for diabetes as well. So I didn't know even. So that's why I said these health to living segments are very important because it gives us insight on the, some of the things that we may not have known already. Yeah. I'm, I'm thankful for that. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So go, mo moving on to vitamin mm -hmm. D12 and the, it's, um, I try not to get too down in the weeds, but the technical name is cobalamin, cobalamin. The, the technical name for B, vitamin B12. And um, as we'll just begin by, I'm, again, I'm reading from our Natural Remedies Encyclopedia. This is on page 103 for those of you that have the um, encyclopedia. And um, just in terms of the benefits of B12, um, it says that it is needed for production of red blood cells. Um, and it also prevents anemia and promotes growth in children. B12 is especially used in the treatment of impaired mental ability in the elderly, asthma, depression, diabetic neuropathy, multiple sclerosis, and tinnitus. And um, in order to absorb the small amounts of B12 found in food, the stomach secretes um, a special digestive secretion that increases its absorption in the small intestine. And, and we shared Sabbath evening that B6 is essential. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually required for the absorption of B12. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an important um, piece as well that you must have B6 in order to absorb B12. Um, sources of B12, I always like to ask, does, does anybody have any thoughts or idea about the sources of B12? How, how can we get it? Because we always like to point out that um, the supplements are good, a vitamin supplement, but if we can obtain it through our diet, through our whole food, a whole food, that's mm -hmm. always the preferred method. So does, it, does anyone know um, what are some good sources of vitamin B12? Well, yeah. Well, I know it was mentioned yesterday you could get it through carrots. Well, that was, and I'm glad you brought that up, Sister Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, MK was sharing about beta carotene, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which is an excellent source of of um, in carrots. Mm -hmm. I was going to. I meant to before before the study. I meant to look up, and I it's not too late mm -hmm. to look up what beta carotene is found in. Okay. Um, and we'll. I do know we, one thing about B twelve is good for energy. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when people have iron deficiency mm -hmm. and things like that, they give them injections. That amen, amen, and we'll. I'll read what the book shares about, um, and let me just, I, I pulled up beta carotene um, and I was trying to see which vitamin it is associated with um, and I won't prolong the time. Okay, I just found it. All right, uh, um, vitamins are components that you must have for growth and health. I'm just trying to get to the core here. They are needed in small amounts only and are usually available in the foods that you eat. Beta carotene is converted in the body to vitamin A, which is necessary for healthy eyes and skin. 
Um, mm -hmm. That still doesn't tell me. Yeah, I'll have to search that out, but um, okay. carrots were not listed, but it's not mm -hmm. to say that they are not a good source of vitamin B6. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's listed for the good sources for B12 are, um, it says it's present in vegetables in only small amounts. Mm -hmm. It says that it is in fortified brewer's yeast, milk, eggs. Now we don't just as a general rule, um, of course, we know that milk from an animal um, is not good for us. Neither is neither are eggs uh, right. from an animal. Okay. Uh, so these are things that we have to be mindful of. As mm -hmm. we, but this, again, this, these are the sources, though. It says it can also be taken in a vitamin supplement, which we know um, mm -hmm. that's always an option. You need so little of it that it generally can be obtained from food sources. So that's mm -hmm. also um, good to know about B12. Mm -hmm. um, and go ahead, Sister Mary. Uh, spinach is one, too. Okay. Praise God. Spinach. And, um, and, and not only that, I'd like to say this too, is that it's about how you prepare those vegetables too. You see, you can overcook them to whether you done, you know, just kill, kill the vitamin that's in there. Amen. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of times, well, all the time, you, I think if you steam them, they'll be better for you. Amen. Amen. That, and that's a, that's a general rule mm -hmm. in general for, like you said, cooking any vegetable, it's um, better to steam than to, because mm -hmm. we can overcook. Right. And right. like you said, take out all those nutrients. Right. Right. Amen. Now the, the recommended daily dosage, I always like to end with this Mm -hmm. to, so it stays in our minds because we don't, you know, you can have too much of a good thing is not good for us. Right. Um, it says that the recommended daily dosage is 2 mcg daily, not most of the time we see mg milligrams, but this is micrograms. So that's, that's why they were saying it's, it's so little is needed of it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still needful, and we, we see here it's it's needful on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It says that, um, mm -hmm. I'll just close with this last piece that I found interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, daily intake of 2,000 MCG of beta um, of B12 greatly improved 18 of 20 patients with asthma. Mm -hmm. Multiple, multiple sclerosis patients given 60 mg or 60 milligrams daily mm -hmm. experienced significant improvement. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I know several people with multiple sclerosis, um, okay. one in my own family. So I'm definitely going to be sharing this with um, with those those. But, I you know, I always. I love the word of God mostly, but I also love um, words. It says significant improvement. So this is not, mm -hmm. this isn't just something that mm -hmm. a, a small change. This is a very noticeable change. That's right. Amen. So with that, I'll open it up to any comments or questions. So the daily dose for just anyone generally is what? two micrograms, which is abbreviated MCG. So not to be confused with milligrams, MG, which is, that's normally the, the unit measure for most vitamins is milligrams. Okay. But this is micrograms. MCG, okay. And if there are no other questions or comments, I will turn it over to Brother Roy um, as we break the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Let's let us uh, praise the Lord, everyone. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to all be glad and rejoice in it because he woke us up, started us out on this journey. 
I'm very thankful. I appreciate everything that the Lord is doing. Let us have another word of prayer before we get started. Our Father, we thank you that you've allowed us to be here once again. We pray, Father, for each and every one of us that's here, all our loved ones, even our friends and even my enemy. Father, we're praying for those as well. So bless us in this day, Father, and help us to receive what you're trying to give us from on high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Anyway, and, um, and for those who just joined, Brother Wayne um, has joined. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Do you want us to stay now, Sister Michelle, with the Hollies? Oh, I, I apologize. <laughs> yes, Brother Roy, I, I, I got off. Off kill right. no, no, no. off no, the no. program. Praise no, no. God. Well, he's going to read a script. We're going to have a scripture reading. Script. Oh, you want a scripture reading mm -hmm. first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, we was, well, I, we was going to resume, which is I'm going to read 10 to the letter. That's it. Okay. Psalm 103. 10 to the letter. He had it not died with us after our sin, remove us according to our iniquities. Okay. Lord, as the heaven high above the earth, so great it is must be torn his field here. Okay. Amen. From Satan. Amen. Some song that we're going to say is. Yes. The storm out on life so she There's a storm out on life's ocean and it's moving this way. This way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. There's a storm out on life's ocean, and it's moving this way. This way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. Oh, drift away. Drift away. Drift away. Oh, drift away. You will surely drift away. If your soul not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. Ah, drift away. Drift away. Drift away. Oh, drift away. Or you will surely drift away. Ah, if your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. Ah, oh, drift away. Drift away. Drift away. Drift away. You will surely drift away. Drift away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus. You will surely drift away. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Now, praise God for that. Now we will um, have have the the break the bread of life, and yes. brother Roy. Amen. Let us. Uh, Go. Uh, we'll look at a few passages of the scriptures today in a couple places. But anyway, I want to start out with Psalm 90 to set the. Be able to 
is just hear, see the word of God, hear the word of God, and actually. And Brother Roy, I don't know if it's on your end or mine, but I know last night this was happening. Where are you, yes. Brother Wayne? Yes, ma'am. Brother Roy, can you hear me? Yes. I just lost my connection. This has been hap this happened off and on last night. I'm going to con try connecting to my cell phone. I'm not sure okay. what's what the problem is as to the the network that the Wi-Fi here in the house, but it's interesting yeah. you all were having a similar problem last Sabbath. I yeah. still am. <laughs> we still are, but you know, we're not gonna give the enemy no room, but we're still without mm -hmm. Wi-Fi in the house. Okay. Still waiting on the repairs. Yeah. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Well, I'm going to, if if I lose you, I'm coming back in, but I'm going to reconnect okay. to my, my cell phone. Okay. okay, fine. That's fine. But anyway, and it reads, it says, the first verse says, Lord, Brother, I have Brother Roy, yeah. Brother Roy, can you repeat that? That verse, I because I I was not connected, so we we didn't get okay. it. It didn't get recorded. Okay, Psalms ninety, verse one. We started verse one. Amen. Amen. Okay, it says, "Lord, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations." It says, "Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou had formed the earth in the world, even from everlasting." to everlasting, thou art God. Mm. Thou turnest man to destruction and saith, return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight or but as yesterday when it is past and as the watch in the night. Mm. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning, they are like grass which groweth up. It says in the morning, it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withereth. Okay. But we are consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. It says the days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto thy children, unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Amen. I read. Psalms 90. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful word of scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. and I, want, I wanted to read that. Uh, Brother Wayne, you had a comment. Cause... My comment is amen. Amen. Oh, All right. So, you know, I think about how good the Lord has been to us mm -hmm. and how even though we saw some have been affected by storms on, on yesterday, 
hurricanes and, and tornadoes, tornadic activity. Mm -hmm. And God has still kept us yet alive. Amen. Amen. So that's why I'm saying he said, I like that part where it says in the scripture that how he gave us the timeline of how our years are in verse 10. Mm -hmm. Sometimes three score and 10, and if by reason of strength, be four score, then drop down. And it says, uh, so teach us in verse 12 to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So I think we need to know that that's very important. Mm -hmm. Do not take this for granted that God has blessed us with this time of while we have time. Just like the brother said, we need to be preparing ourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is preparation time. Couldn't anyone agree? Amen. Amen. So now when you look out, we look out over life, he's taught us mm -hmm. in his scriptures, like even in John, if you love me, to keep my word, keep my commandments. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this is, to me, we still have time. It's like probation. We still have some time before it closes. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we understand that he, he said, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom, that we may return. Even if we've gotten out of sync, if we've done things that was contrary or we just were, up, 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 were functioning somewhat in sin, then we still, we are alive. We can get this thing right if we repent. Amen. Because mm. time we don't control. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So while we have time, we need to make sure that we, we, we acknowledge this and make this our call in election. Amen. Make sure, if you will. So now, now if you look at 14. It says, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Mm -hmm. What is that saying to any of you? Hmm? That's it, believe us that we should be doing the right thing and doing the mercy that God told us. Okay. 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 Anyone else? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if no one else has a comment, I'll go further. And it says in verse 17, the last verse says, And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, mm -hmm. be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. God loves us. Amen. Amen. He wants us to do his will. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, mm -hmm. we've received the blessings from the Lord, first of all, because of our obedience and our willingness to do what he says. Amen. So a lot of times, you know, I, I wonder about some of the things that we mm -hmm. do as, as mankind. Mm -hmm. Now, he left us this, this to me is like a guidebook, the mm -hmm. word, the word. Mm -hmm. It tells us what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think about the commandments, you know, we talk about that oftentimes, mm -hmm. how we're supposed to keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So now if if we don't, then there's a penalty. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm looking at um 15. 15. Okay. It says, make us glad according to the days wherein thou has afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. that you were in we have seen evil so it's talking about 
throughout the years that mm. we have seen, okay. you know, like coming through life yeah. and knowing that, knowing God okay. and doing everything that we can do to do as the word says to do, even though we see in this evils, these mm -hmm. evil things taking place. Yeah. I think that that's something right there. Okay. That we are able to come through the trials of life, mm -hmm. seeing these things that are taking place with our neighbors. That's right. Who is our neighbor? All those that you, you don't see. see, all those that you see, mm -hmm. And just, you know, hearing that, you know, the news. through the news right. and, you yeah. know. The media and all. Yes. Yeah. And just round about you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and praying and seeking God's faith for healing and deliverance. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, during the times that people, a lot of folks are not praying. Mm -hmm. They're not seeking God. Right. But we have to, he said the good have to suffer with the bad because we're mm -hmm. all here. We're all down here. Mm -hmm. Together. Yes. In the midst of all mm -hmm. of this chaos and stuff that's going on. But you know, I thank God for mm -hmm. all those that are praying. That's right. And seeking God mm -hmm. and asking God for his grace and mercy. Yeah. Upon the people. Says in the future. Prayer and prayer of a righteous man availeth mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, prayer, it says we have to have faith mm -hmm. in prayer, mm -hmm. working together. You know, mm -hmm. it says, mm -hmm. even you got to have the faith mm -hmm. of Jesus mm -hmm. as well as the faith in Jesus. Right. You know, to me, the Bible says, I remember we were studying a while back and we were talking about how Jesus told us how to pray. He said, don't pray like those hypocrites in the synagogue with those long prayers so they'd be heard of men. He said, pray a simple prayer. Mm -hmm. Honest. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible says out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So a lot of times, if you want to know the treasures of a man, it teaches that they lie in his heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, and he said, and you will know them by their works, whether they be good or bad. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, people will pro profess Jesus, mm -hmm. but they're not living for mm -hmm. Jesus, wow. so to speak. Amen. Um, and it's, it says a, a good tree won't bear forth corrupt fruit, mm -hmm. right? So, okay. but anyway, mm -hmm. so that's amazing to know how God mm -hmm. has put all this in place for us, mm -hmm. even by some of the holy prophets, by mm -hmm. inspiration of the Spirit, mm -hmm. so that we would have this to go by. See, they didn't, a lot of them of old didn't have this. Mm -hmm. He told them to write this and mm -hmm. put it in a book. Mm -hmm. Then he told them to stop right. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, and I thought that was, it, it was just how he reminded us, even in his word, the number, how he says in 12. So teach us mm -hmm. to number our days, to number, number, number our days. Mm -hmm. uh, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. What is wisdom? No, that's no, 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 wisdom. That's to the anyone on wisdom. anyone on Zoom. Yeah. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably Proverbs four seven. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. What is wisdom? Yeah, the Bible. The Bible teaches us that in all thy getting, get understanding in mm -hmm. Proverbs, and that wisdom mm -hmm. is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. so right. We know that the Bible, um, the Word of God is mm -hmm. wisdom it, it's, it's good. it is it, it's the ultimate source of um for all the any knowledge that we can ever attain 
um, right. comes from the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you hear the word wisdom, every I see a hand. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Another hand. Go ahead. Well, I want to I, what I want y'all to do is look at verse 17. It says, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon and establish thou the work of our hands. Opportunity upon us, us. Yeah. upon us. Yay. Be the work of our hands and establish thou it. Okay. Yeah. So you wanted us to look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, because that that scripture mm -hmm. that means something that is in the hands that to yeah. establish yeah. Um, okay. that they have done. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so establish means things that they done. Okay. Yes. In the Lord. Right. Yes. That was the, okay. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, it has uh, now that was to get us started. Now I want us to go over, if you will, I have another scripture that I know is, that we uh, I want us to look at mm -hmm. to really get us even on into where we're going with this. It says, I want us to go in, uh, let's look at 2 Timothy chapter two. And it's, if you will, amen, yeah. It's going to give us some wisdom or instruction. Amen. Mm -hmm. Chapter two. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's in the New yeah. Testament and before. Second Timothy one. Hebrews chapter two. Second Timothy two. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was studying this, this line. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, a lot of times. When things pertain to the, mm -hmm. the body of Christ, mm -hmm. it has something normally to do with Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the only way we're going to get the, the instructions is we got to seek God's word. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then in one of the verses, it tell you, you do what with his word to stay in the same book. But we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are we there? Amen. Amen. Okay. Would you like to read that, Sister Michelle? I can hear you almost think. Lord, and, and just so everyone knows, Brother Walter joined us um, earlier and praise praise God for praise God for that. And, and yes. for brother and for brother Joseph, who's zooming in as well. Okay. So um, what what verses, Brother Roy? We're going to read the whole thing. So start at one, please. Okay. So this is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Yeah. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Would you start right there, Michelle? What is that saying to you all? Hmm. Just those two verses. Really. That's a powerful message that he's saying. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I reread verse two, it, it's mm -hmm. saying, the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. So we talk about all the time. That's when, right. When we get the word, it's not enough to hear the word. We're Amen. To, First, apply it to our own lives, but then we must go and share it. That's right. And then it goes on to say, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be mm -hmm. able to teach others. So, yeah, it, 
it, it, it, yeah. it's, right. it goes along with that complete health message that yeah. we've got mm -hmm. to share this truth with others. That's right. That's, 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 that's right, Sister Michelle. Anyone else? If not, go ahead, Sister Michelle, verse three. And verse three, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Now it says thou, thou. Now see, the, the reason why I said this is a message within this that's, that's awesome, it's powerful. Now, what, what would enduring hardness mean to us? Time's gonna get rough, pretty tough. You think? Y'all think? Huh. Amen. Oh. And you gotta do it as what? A good soldier. Mm. <laughs> Not only just a soldier, but a soldier of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. mm. So we're gonna endure some hardness mm -hmm. on this journey. Mm -hmm. Couldn't we say that? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if, you, if you're a soldier of Jesus, Jesus is going to be with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, that's, to me, you could shout right there. Mm -hmm. He didn't say he wasn't going to be able to He said, the way to be so plain, a fool can't ever. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. And he said, if you're going to, but anyway, go ahead. I'm, on, I'm not going to, just go ahead. Amen. Verse four. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of life that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, is he not crowned except he strive lawfully? Ah, please explain that to somebody. Give me y'all's understanding of that right there, verse five. Well, we've, my Bible has in, in um, as a footnote for the mm -hmm. word strive, <laughs> It has competes. Compete. And um, one thing I think about competition is rooted in Brother Wayne likes to mention quite often about all I heard was I, I, I. <laughs> that's right. Um, when you self. think about competition, that's rooted in self. Self, it sure is. It really is. Amen. And so the but what God is calling each one of us, it says in verse five, mm -hmm. um, if, if we strive for masteries, that's being, that means I itself, that mm -hmm. uh, we, he is not crowned. That's right. Mm -hmm. Except he strive lawfully, which we know that there, it, we do play a part in our own salvation. So there mm -hmm. is a, there is something we have to do, but mm -hmm. it's that something is to die to self. That's mm -hmm. right. It says when Jesus told us, if you want to follow me, you have to first do what? Deny yourself and then pick up your cross. And follow right? Jesus. Yes. So mm -hmm. it has, like I say, we do have something to do with our faith eternally. But go ahead. Amen. Um, you want me to continue on to verse six? Yes, ma'am. Amen. And it reads, the husbandman that laboreth Oh, praise God, we've got another joining. That's good. Amen. All right. Praise God and welcome. Oh, I must have lost um, either Brother Walter or Brother Wayne, but praise the Lord. Okay, so I'm continuing on in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 6. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider yes. what I say, mm -hmm. and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Verse 8. Right. Mm -hmm. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Okay. So we can we can see that this is all informing us and giving us wisdom as we are reading it now. Couldn't we say that's so? and brothers? Praise God, yes. <laughs> okay. And to your point, Brother Roy, about wisdom, mm -hmm. it's, it, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. We've, yes. we've talked about that in previous studies and the, the scriptures tell us this. That's right. And so 
we should never even open our Bibles, you know, even as we opened up in prayer for uh-huh. this study. So understanding for, for our YouTube family that may be hearing this for the first time may not even have heard the name Jesus. That's that, right. Um, it's not enough to just, the Bible isn't a, a textbook like you can go buy and purchase um, and you don't study it. And we don't study it in the same way we study so a textbook that we may have in school. That's right. Um, we always must pray before we even open it to Amen. ask the Holy Spirit, God, mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, to reveal these truths. And we these know truths. we've learned yes. that the truths are hidden. Mm-hmm. They're not always, if we just read what it, as it reads on the surface, we may miss the, the deeper meaning. That's right. Mm-hmm. That is so true. Good way to put it. You know, a lot of times we don't want to just read it and hurry through it. Mm-hmm. To say we read thus and such, but we want to get, like you said, the, the fruit of it. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Verse eight. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer mm-hmm. unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Hmm. Therefore, I endure. Oh, I'm sorry, Brother Roy. No, go ahead. We'll start. Verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Okay, now when it says that about the elect's sake, uh, that they also may obtain, they also may obtain. So it's talking about the elect. Who is the very elect? Who is this elect? For example, mm-hmm. who do y'all think this elect is? Those who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus, which we mm-hmm. we know it, that that can be found in Revelation fourteen verse twelve. Okay. Amen. Amen. That's true. Now, this elect that they may obtain what is that? The salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is very important. Mm-hmm. It really is. Um, and look at verse 11. What does it say? A faithful saying, for if we be dead with, we shall also live with. That's a blessing right there. We be dead with who? Jesus. Amen. <laughs> and then we, Amen. we shall also live with him. See. And Brother Roy, that, that mm-hmm. also goes along with what we were just saying about the mass. The scriptures were just saying about the mastery that yeah. it, dead, dead to self, when dead we're dead to, to, our, to ourselves, we are, mm-hmm. that mastery mm-hmm. falls by the wayside. We are surrendering mm-hmm. to Jesus mm-hmm. living yeah. in, in us. Yeah, and then we're alive with Jesus, too. Amen. You see that a lot of people, that's why I say this is a, a message in this that that we need to kind of grasp as we're going forward, that our souls will be glad Mm -hmm. as we are understanding through wisdom what this is actually saying to us. Amen. Praise God. Go ahead, brother. um, The word mastery mastery was used, and I just wanted to, this may may be a parallel to it, it, but um, we're talking about uh, striving. And this is uh, this is my own, uh, the present truth, 1902. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is just a word to the real significance of Sabbath rest. Amen. It Sabbath rest is the sign of God's sanctifying power. Amen. 2012. Oh, mm-hmm. also, I gave them a Sabbath to be a sign between me and them that mm-hmm. they might know that I am the Lord that sanctified them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is. It is. It is this sanctifying power. It is the rest from sin, even while the sin is in the flesh, struggling right. for the yeah. struggling for the mastery. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's one example of what real Sabbath rest is: the yeah. sanctifying power of God. Amen. While the, the sin is in the flesh, struggling for the mastery. 
Yeah. It is the sign of the perfect life that God can live in a person. So, so we 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 going you know up and down, round and round, dealing with the issues. Go ahead. So and so <laughs> I was brought out regarding yeah. Revelation 14, uh, 6, and uh, I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach. And I was brought out in the, uh, in the chapter here we're studying. Um, we must first partake, be partakers of the fruit. So having the everlasting gospel. So we, we, must, we must partake, we must eat of the, of the, of the, the flesh of Jesus. And, and drink of his blood, as it were, mm -hmm. and all of it, which means to be right. partakers of his life, mm -hmm. which is being partakers mm -hmm. of the divine nature, eating of flesh, drinking his blood. Mm -hmm. That's how we become more and more like Christ as he dwells mm -hmm. us richly. Amen. Right. Amen. And Brother Amen. Wayne, while you were talking, we lost our connection. I apologize, Brother Roy. I, am, okay. I am going to now try to connect through my phone. I, I was, since I was, we weren't having any problems, I was going to leave it with this mm -hmm. Wi-Fi, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to connect to my cell phone now. So if I lose you all, I will be back. All right, and we're having technical difficulties, but please be praying as I try to connect to the Wi-Fi through my phone. Oh, praise God. Are we connected? Okay. Can you hear us? Yes, yeah, okay, because we stopped at first fail. Okay, I was, bear with me, brother. Roy, I am wanting to reconnect through. I think that the problem that I'm having on my end is due okay. to this Wi-Fi. It's an unstable yeah. Wi-Fi net network. So I'm, I'm trying to connect to my cell phone. And praise God. Okay, I'm connected. So we're picking back up. Brother Roy, you said I'm at verse. What verse was I? Where was I? Brother Roy, can Pray you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, we hear you. Okay, where were you wanting me to pick up? I'm sorry. We, we stopped at verse 12. You stopped at verse 12. So you All get, right. And it yes. reads, if we suffer, we shall also reign with. If we deny, <laughs> he also will deny us. Wow, now that's something to think about. We should hear that now, right now, presently. This is a present truth. That's something that a lot of people that's within the boundaries of saying that they are Christians need to know. Uh, this is that's very relevant, isn't it, Sister Michelle? Anyone else? That is that very relevant. A lot of people. He said, "If you deny me, what are you gonna do?" Deny us. That's right, and that's very important to know. <clears throat> you know, a lot of times when we are doing things our way, we'll deny the Lord, and then we'll say, "But we'll say," He said. With your mouth, you say you love me. With your heart, you're far from me. So a lot of times we'll say we're with him, and then we deny him. Well, and to your point, Brother Roy, about the present truth aspects of this, you know, if we look at the time we're living in now, Amen. What, what are people, how are people denying Christ now well, then, in this day and time? Mm -hmm. You can buy the things that they want to do within themselves, you know. They people have gotten so modernized with all these technologies and things of the world. The Bible says to be carnal minded is death. Isn't that what it say? Amen. Think, think about it. we get so consumed with these things of the world. But you know, I got just like we we're talking about Wi-Fi. Well, I got this and I gotta look at this. I'm looking at this or that, you know, on social media, TikTok, uh, Instagram all these devices and things that the enemy is using to snatch people away from the Lord. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? See, a lot of times these distractions will make us deny 
I gotta be honest, deny Jesus because we put them in place of. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you give your attention solely to something, mm -hmm. then that's what you're serving. Mm -hmm. We could almost go and say that much, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see so many people that's caught up and they're always on their, always on their phones, always on their mm -hmm. tablets, on mm -hmm. social media. And you be talking to them, they don't hear you. Mm -hmm. Then they'll turn around and ask you what you said later on because it was something they needed to hear, but they hadn't gotten it. Mm. Mm. So that's how we can deny them one way. Mm. There's several ways, but I was just using that as an example. Mm -hmm. Right. And from, so Go ahead. And from the present truth aspect of that, and like you said, it's a powerful point, is that mm -hmm. the, the breach... Mm -hmm. Like in terms of what what the needful thing that we we read in in Matthew and previous studies or Luke uh, that Mary mm -hmm. had found, uh, mm -hmm. you know that Martha was was upset of, of, at Mary about the needful mm -hmm. thing in the in the time that we're living in now is is the the Sabbath truth that so many are denying. Um, That's we, right. We read in a previous study about King Pharaoh and mm -hmm. the, that rod of God. That, That's right. That um, King Pharaoh came. They were um, Aaron and Moses were trying to present mm -hmm. um, God's way, and mm -hmm. Pharaoh put down. He went to the enchantments of the world and and try to right. duplicate or counterfeit what mm -hmm. god had said was the his way and so i also brother right. Roy, to your point i i see the sabbath as well be, just because we know that that's for the time we're living in mm -hmm. that's what people that's what God is trying to, he's waving a flag, trying yeah. to get everyone's attention to say, you know, if, if we get the Sabbath right, we won't be having these issues with TikTok right. and right. Instagram. Mm -hmm. We will understand that all those things are striving for the mastery. That's right. I mean, and think they of, are think about what it, yeah. I'm sorry, brother, brother Roy. It, right, and just that, you know, to add on to what you're saying, those are the instruments of mm -hmm. evil that's mm -hmm. created. I mean, the Bible talks about man will create, be inventors of evil things. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy wants to get our attention by any means necessary. Amen. So to, so to add to that point that you were making, that was a good, that's a good point that you're making. So we have to be careful mm -hmm. that we don't allow these things to take center stage in our lives and, and make them uh, our vocal, our focal points, you know, that we are looking at at all times. So we have to be careful that the enemy is crafty, that he's using, like I say, all means that he can mm -hmm. to actually um, mm -hmm. beset or deceive the people of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's why when, when you actually see these things, and then while we're wasting time mm -hmm. with those things, things are happening all around us. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was mentioned yesterday by uh, Brother K. You mm -hmm. know how you know when tragedy comes. Yeah, let's pray. Everybody want to come together. Yeah, they want to come together. But after the tragedy is over, they, they go back to they the old way. They disperse and divide. Mm -hmm. You know, we've actually had that. We saw that on a wide mm -hmm. scale, a large scale, but, when we had uh, 9/11. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. God is not a God where you turn them on, on you turn them off. <laughs> That's right. He's not. A, a, and yeah. that, uh, this is an ongoing, ongoing. This is an ongoing walk. Yeah, it's a work. That's why. Mm -hmm. And this, and when since you said that, you're gonna see some of that in the rest of this this mm -hmm. chapter. Mm -hmm. And see, that's the significance of mm -hmm. what real. When when you look up there, when it says, mm -hmm. it talks about being a soldier of Jesus. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? You got to endure hardness. These are hard days. Mm -hmm. You know, some things are just a hard truth. Mm -hmm. But if you endure them. Mm -hmm. And just like it says over in verse, Sister Michelle was saying, 
uh, in verse, when she read this, in verse 11, it is a faithful sin for we be dead in it with him. Mm -hmm. We also will live with it. Mm -hmm. But remember, this is the hardness of it. Mm -hmm. We have to go through this in order to get to the, the mastery. Mm -hmm. It's a work. Isn't that right? Amen. It's a work. Mm -hmm. Along the journey. A lot of people say, oh, well, I'm headed to heaven anyhow. Mm -hmm. No, you're not headed to heaven anyhow. You got to do some work. We have to do some work. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And Amen. this is a part of it. Mm -hmm. And she said, the Bible teaches that Satan is going about like a ruined lion, mm -hmm. seeking those that he made a vow. And mm -hmm. who would be easy candidates besides mm -hmm. the one that's what? Mm -hmm. Unaware. Mm -hmm. so, so you're ooh, where your attention is. You, it's very important to where you put the things that you attend, put your attention on. Amen. Go ahead, Sister Michelle. Amen. Verse, verse 13. Oh, and praise God, we've got another one joining. Amen. Um, praise the Lord. Um, welcome praise the Lord. to Gloria Loretta back. Amen. Amen. I thought I was to up to my meat. So, <laughs> Sister Gloria Loretta, you need to mute yourself. Praise God. I don't know Amen. how to do stuff, but I'm here. I'm alone anyway. Okay. okay. Praise, <laughs> praise God. And so we continue on and. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 13. If we believe not, he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. Wow. Amen. Mm. Mm. These things put in remembrance. Oh, there's that word remember. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. I think about the Sabbath. Yeah. I think about the Sabbath. Amen. Amen. Charging remember. before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, to the subverting wow. of the hearers. See there? Now listen to that. What, what does that say to you? Your spirit. See? Isn't that something? That's amazing. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> and and I... Look, okay, oh, go ahead, go Brother Roy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's a lot comes to mind. Go ahead, though. <laughs> no, I was just seeing... I, I was really being reminded of that rod of... of um, that snake. And mm -hmm. fair and um, and I I I wish I could remember the passage, but I'll just suffice it to say that what we studied about you mm -hmm. know pe people are anytime we put something in place of yeah. what God's <laughs> word says, mm -hmm. we we are we we are putting our own truth and and our own mm -hmm. gospel. Um, with a little mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's right. <laughs> and and you know, since Michelle, if you go back up there to eight, what does it say? Remember, remember, we're praised God. The seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And see, just like uh, Brother Wayne was saying a while ago, this is a Sabbath rest, sanctifying power of this the power sanctifying power of god mm -hmm. in this mastery mm -hmm. see? he said he will show us he will show us even some of the mm -hmm. mysteries mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but but you got to walk not too close you got to walk with it and, and and you know mm -hmm. as i continue to hear mm -hmm. about the rest in jesus yes the rest in jesus mm -hmm. to rest in jesus is to be joyful right is to be glad, yeah. is to be humble, content, content satisfied, and, and accept yeah. right. all that God has given all us. Good benefits. All, all that God has, mm -hmm. you know, raised us up from. Right. So that we can see mm -hmm. his will yes. for our life. And then another thing I could add to that, which is that's good, is he said his peace that he gives, mm -hmm. not like the world. Like See, you can't rest without peace. You can't rest without peace. See, if something, you know, the Bible teaches it like Brother M.K. was talking about last on last evening. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm. See, it has something to do with what you do. Yeah. You have a part in this thing. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people, they want to leave it up to the pastor or the deacon or somebody else in the church. Mm -hmm. But your faith is going to be left up to you. Because mm -hmm. the next verse will give you an example when the sister reads it, 
And we're gonna, we gonna, then we're gonna, we're gonna go on a little fuck. Go ahead, Sister Michelle, right there. I think you stopped at 15. Watch what it said. Praise God. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Please stop right there. Now, see, <laughs> but, <laughs> see, uh, like I said earlier, and along with what Mary was saying, you can't rest in him. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him, mm. amen. You can't get this benefit because you're not in his will, mm. amen. And if you don't study, mm. how you gonna know? Yeah. For example, I'm asking a question now. Anybody that has an answer, uh, it's something to think about. You know, we oftentimes talk about. You know, I've heard people ask me questions like this. How do I do this? How do y'all do this? How can I get to that point? I said, we start off just like babies and you work and mature, then you'll grow. Isn't that right? Amen. Also, but, go ahead, Brother Roy. I'm sorry. No, I was, no go ahead. Also, mm -hmm. to, your, to your question about, you know, verse 15, mm -hmm. if we don't study, mm -hmm. how are we going to know? And then mm -hmm. for, for that for that question that many have about, well, how, you know, how can I get there? How can I get there? Well, you know, this this rest, mm -hmm. this Sabbath rest, mm -hmm. uh, more importantly, it's a it's yes. a rest, it's a rest from sin. And yes. so when when we are when we are um walking in sin and not mm. not giving that resting from it you know we're going to mm -hmm. the world we we know we all know the word habit it, you know these yes. become habitual um that's right <laughs> and the, the holy spirit we're not listening and we're not um being led by him and so we're we're okay. bound we're bound to repeat whatever it is that's correct what we're yes. what we are accustomed to doing versus when we yeah. when we turn yes. and rest mm -hmm. and allow right. god to mm -hmm. lead and we're following mm -hmm. like you said earlier brother roy you yeah. know picking up our mm -hmm. cross and following Yes. Then if, he he has then the we can actually see, right and we can see clear of what he's trying to do in our lives. See, without the you know, you, you brought out a key point and brother by the way, I think it was as well, so Samaria. If you think about it, mm -hmm. while we're actively in sin, mm -hmm. we're dead, just like it says Ephesians 2. We were dead to trespasses and sin. We're not living. Mm -hmm. But you know, can, can I <laughs> go say, ahead? Go can ahead. I say yeah, something? Yeah, go ahead. You know, I, I I used to hear, you know, people say let the let let the dead bury the dead, and then I hear <laughs> William K say let the dead bury the dead. How's he gonna do that? I I, I asked that question, mm -hmm. you know, to myself. How are they gonna right. do that? Well, I won't get it. But until I started hearing more of the truth, mm -hmm. I started to hear if if you're not dead to sin. Mm -hmm. You're alive. You're alive. But if you still continue to sin, if you continue in, in sin, then you're dead. You're dead. Still dead. You I'm walking dead, dead. Dead man or dead whoever. And when you are um, dead to sin, that's when, you know, you, I mean, you're walking with the law. But and when you are picking it up, you steady, you know, picking it mm -hmm. up and and you're no longer walking with the dead, but you're walking with Christ. And it's mine you, that's Michelle. also in Christ. And mm -hmm. you're not walking that way anymore. Right. So that's why the, 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 new that, man. the ones that's walking mm -hmm. dead in sin, mm -hmm. they, they are dead. Are burying the dead. <laughs> you know, those that right. die in sin. Right. You know? Uh, Amen. But I, I understand it now, though. Yeah. And see, that's why it says in that verse that Sister Michelle just read, 15. Mm -hmm. To study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Brother Royce. <laughs> what I want to say is that if you just look at 16, it says if you do the 
But I want to say this, mm -hmm. but if you look at the truth, mm -hmm. you'll, fo you'll follow the sin of Christ. You'll follow the what? The, 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 the life of Christ. The life of Christ. I mean, life Not the of Christ. Sin. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. But, but anyway. if you follow sin, you'll follow the, the, the life of the, the enemy. The, the enemy. enemy. Listen. So death. Mm -hmm. you know, but if you go in the life of good, you'll be in the life of Christ. Amen. Right. Amen. Um, but back to that, that you and all, you, Sister Michelle, y'all saying, Sister Mary and all y'all. Now, people don't realize sin has caused the breach mm -hmm. in a lot of people's lives that they are so off course. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the enemy uses all these different devices and these means, these mm -hmm. distractions and all these things. Mm -hmm. He'll even try to get in your mind, mm -hmm. and put little thoughts and mm -hmm. things in there to get you even off like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, you got to beware. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can't, mm -hmm. it says, you can't be led away by every strange doctor. That's mm -hmm. what Jesus was telling them. Right. Because you'll end up in the wrong place. And so we have to be careful. We have to guard ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. the Bible says in Ephesians right. 6, put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. that you can even stand even against the wilds of the devil, because he's wild. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have no protection, no armor, mm -hmm. What can you do? You can't. You can't stand. Mm -hmm. And the enemy will devour you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, go ahead, Michelle. Please finish reading that verse. I stopped you. I'm sorry. Praise God. Verse verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. But shun profane, vain babblings, for they mm -hmm. will increase unto more ungodliness. Please stop right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know when we talk about Babylon, that word babble. <laughs> Mm. How there's a parallel there. Mm -hmm. So, babble. Let me, mm -hmm. What is that saying to you all? Babble, babble. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about Brother Wayne, and I don't, Brother, um, Sister Mary, you you said sounded like you had something. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead. I mean, this I'll is. Something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I, I immediately, when you brought up the word babble, Brother Wayne, <laughs> I'm immediately mm -hmm. thinking about, you know, that we know Babylon, if, if we trace these things, the Bible is giving us breadcrumbs of truth mm -hmm. yeah. that, that can be traced back to the uh -huh. source. And right. we know everything we've studied about Babylon, mm -hmm. we know that it's the first kingdom of those four kingdoms that, mm -hmm. uh, that Satan has given the authority, which we know that's such right. such thing, but mm -hmm. that it, it was that first kingdom that was led by um, Nebuchadnezzar. 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 Mm -hmm. And um, it reigned. Um, Good wow. and, <laughs> and also too, we know that that was the, that was the first kingdom that mm -hmm. where they tried to bring in and force mm -hmm. people to worship Washington. Yes, mm -hmm. and we had, and we we know that the three Hebrew boys mm -hmm. um, and Daniel, Daniel, yes, that's right, mm -hmm. um, interpreted that dream. But we know that they refused to bow down and worship that golden image. And so mm -hmm. we know the golden image of our day is the Sabbath. It's mm -hmm. the Sabbath. Well, right. well, excuse me, Father, forgive me. the The golden mm -hmm. image of our day is. Is the mm -hmm. Sunday false Sabbath? Sunday, false Sabbath, yes. Mm -hmm. Because they're they're calling us now, and mm -hmm. we know to to worship that image, which mm -hmm. we know is false. So this this is when I read that verse, Brother Roy, and I see that word babblings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I immediately think about if we trace it back, the, the right. source of it all. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm. And you brought out, a, this is like a segue between that time and this time. Mm -hmm. um, and just like you say, our false Sabbath is, I mean, it, it's, it's just like we're dealing with a false Sabbath with Sunday worship, and they want us to actually take part of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I just, when they endorse the Sunday law, mm -hmm. they pass the Sunday law, it's just like, during that time when 
and Daniel and the Hebrew boys, they wouldn't battle this thing. We're going to have to make a decision which way we're going to go here because when they pass the son of law, mm -hmm. man, it's going, to, it's going to show who we really are as the people. You know, it asked up there a while ago. Would you deny? Would we deny Jesus or are we with Jesus? Mm. So it's going, it's going, it's going to really be a, a trying time to show who we really are. Because it's going to get rough. It's like I said, this is a hardness mm -hmm. it talks about. Amen. It's going to, it's going to show the real from the fake. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why we got to make sure that we make our call to the election sure, and that we got ourselves, our houses in order, mm -hmm. and we're on the on the pathway. Right. With Jesus, amen. Amen. So, but that's why we got to make sure that we know that we know it's going to get hard. Mm -hmm. But He's faithful; He won't leave us. He said He'll never forsake us, nor leave us. He'll be with us all the way even to the end of the world. Praise yeah. God! Did Brother Wayne? Did you have a comment? Well, we were talking about the uh, the beast, and I believe his image just now. And look, mm -hmm. this in Hebrews, in Hebrews one. Um, but God hath these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also oh, he made the worlds. Hebrews chapter 1, verse uh, 3, who being the brightness of his glory and expressed image of his person. So G G Jesus is the image, in the image of God the Father. Amen. And, and that's who that's the image that we are to worship. Yeah. Thank God. Wow. And also, Amen. since we're talking about worshiping, you know, Lord showed me this this week, worshiping the truth and the limits and the plagues coming down. Lord showed me this week, and uh, I know that you are mm -hmm. probably familiar with this, but but it's a couple of couple of verses here. One is in uh, Chron Chronicle, First Chronicles six, I believe it is. Okay. First Chronicles, First Chronicles six, and uh, verse. Uh, it's talking about so, the sore. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, noise when grievous sore, the first day. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, and, yes. And, and then there's a text in First uh, Kings 8. It talks about every man will know the plague of his own heart. But uh, here, um, mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 6.29 refers to Everyone shall know. Well, well, Psalm Psalm was praying for those who had gone astray, that that if they would seek the Lord, He would uh, forgive their sins and heal their land. Amen. But but this is so so prominent. Second Chronicles six twenty nine. Everyone shall know his own sore and his own grief. Yeah. You know that the, the, the first plague is a noisome and grievous sore. And this is this is what 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 to like to my mind. Every man will, will know his own sore and his own grief. And mm. also, everyone will know the plague of his own heart. That's right. Um, that's in 1 Kings 8.38. Okay. Wow. And so, so yeah. that's, telling, that's telling me, I hope it's telling everybody, that the plagues will begin, the first plague will begin from within. That's right. Every, every, mm -hmm. every, every man will know his own plague. That's um, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I mean, I, I just never, never had that, mm -hmm. that thought or that understanding. You know, everything. Amen. It was, 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 was saying, and uh, uh, the Roy brought this out earlier, is what's, mm -hmm. in, in, what's in the heart. That's that right. Out. What, is, what does that text say? Um, out, out, of, out, of out of the abundance of the, abundance of the heart. heart. The mouth speak. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, this is this is going to be a, a an individual judgment here. Yeah. So, amen. No, no man, no man or woman can receive the character of another. It is it is not transferable, and because right. the character cannot be transferred, the mm -hmm. plagues cannot be transferred. Okay. And, okay. and and the, the commandments of God is a transcript of of the character of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, so the character of God can well, the only way it can be transferred is from God to man. But for right. the plagues that come down, the seven last plagues that come, they will not be transferable either. 
because the, the, the character of God was refused and rejected. That's right. And uh, that's, that's because the, of unbelief. Because of unbelief. That's the only thing I want to bring out. I've been looking at it all week. I just, I, this is something new to me. Every man will know his own sore and his own grief, the first plague. And I heard a great voice, uh, Revelation 16, out of the temple saying to seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. The first angel went. First went and poured out the vial upon the earth, and there fell a noise summer and grievous mm -hmm. sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon those that worshiped his image. But every man would know his own sore and his own grief. And there That's will right. be a plague of his own heart. Mm -hmm. that, that, that means that, that one refused to have the commandments mm -hmm. maintained or even first written in the hearts. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and goes on to Genesis chapter 6, you know, the heart of man mm -hmm. was only evil, only evil, continually. That's because right. Because they had, they had um, ejected, evicted Jesus from their own hearts. Can you imagine yes. that? Evicting yes. Jesus. <laughs> he had the power to evict. He gave us, he gave, gave us the power of choice. That power mm -hmm. of choice is powerful enough to even evict God himself from our hearts. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and you know, um, <clears throat> Brother Wang, it says right here in, in the um in the book of Psalms, Psalms 90, mm -hmm. 11, it says, Who knows the power of thine anger? The question was asked, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Mm -hmm. So it, but it, it asked that question that you just answered is that it all of us gonna know okay yeah the extent mm -hmm. and then it says in 12 it says so teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom amen amen on that amen amen wow, wow. Okay. But that that says a lot right mm -hmm. there about how we it's like Sister Michelle was saying, but shun profane and vain babbling. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sister mm -hmm. Michelle, for they increase unto more ungodly. Mm -hmm. Just like Brother Wayne and Sister Mary saying, we're all saints. Mm -hmm. But uh, so go ahead. See what what's wrong mm -hmm. with people today, some of us, is that they are so caught up. Consume. That's right. So caught up in doing things of the world, enjoying this, enjoying this, enjoying this, and 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 some just, I mean, they just, just like you know, Brother MK always says about when they when when they will when they be blessed with a house or with money or with land, they want more. They want I want yeah. that part okay. over there that that brother so and so guy. I want right. a little bit of that. Be thankful what God has blessed you with. See that that spirit cannot be satisfied. Can't that, be that spirit, satisfied. That flesh cannot. Mm -hmm. See, people don't realize that the flesh is connected with the world, which is connected with the prince of this mm -hmm. world, which is Satan. Mm -hmm. You can't satisfy the flesh. Mm -hmm. And until <laughs> it, it 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 really have just they have really put blinders on. They're consumed with the consumed. With the things of the world. And see, that's the key point. Just like the brother was saying, these people, they're doing this to themselves because mm -hmm. they, they, they have really evicted Jesus. They've gotten Jesus all the way out. Mm -hmm. Because they, some of them are just, how would I say it? Let me say it like this. Mm -hmm. Some of them, when they knew God, they chose not to serve him. Well, they choose him. They went about doing these things right here that we're talking about now. Mm -hmm. So this is actually what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the, these people that's in lead positions, even in some of the local church, even some of the churches, mm. but they're not with Jesus. Mm. No. And we can see that mm -hmm. by their lifestyles they're living and their fruit that they're producing. Mm -hmm. So it's a known fact that Satan has blinded the minds of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They say they had a form of godliness, but they hadn't attained God in their knowledge. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, Sister Michelle. Praise God. Verse 17, and it reads, and their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenus and Philippus. And I'm, I butchered that that word 
Hymenaeus and yeah. Philippus. Philippus, yeah. Now, brother, when you were just talking about someone that, and their word will eat as does the canker. What does a canker do? Eat, 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 eat. Yeah, yeah. The canker worm. <laughs> yeah, it. just think about that. So, oh, the newsome sore. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> go, um, go <laughs> the newsome sore, like when I think about right. a a canker, like you, like mm -hmm. brother what Roy just brought out, it's mm -hmm. a, a like liken a liken or akin to a sore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it reads yeah. first. Oh, go ahead, brother Wayne. <laughs> go ahead, brother Wayne. I don't think about the northern grievous sword. Go ahead, Joseph. Amen. That's no, it. well, that I agree. <laughs> I, we were just seeing that there's a parallel to what you shared, brother Wayne, um, mm -hmm. in so far as the this. Mm -hmm this last that first of the seven last plagues and and yes. what, what we've all been saying and seeing here in the word is that god is trying to 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 tell us you know again it, it's it goes back to reading and studying the word of god and and, yes. and getting yes. wisdom like brother yes. Lord was saying. Yes. When, when we understand what what god yes. is speaking in present yeah. for the present truth for the yes. time that we're living in now amen and we can we can dig out and 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 siphon out mm -hmm. these these life life altering life changing um truth mm -hmm. that that we need now and so what going back to this canker right is mm -hmm. that this newsome sore in the last days that um, for those who who reject Jesus and and receive the mark of the beast, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what this is all about. Yes, uh -huh. it is. I see, and that's why it's over here. Look where it's at. Look at look, look at that. See, this is going toward Revelations and not that far mm -hmm. toward the end time. You know what I mean? That we're studying. So people don't realize, like it says, Ecclesiastes is the timeless season for everything. Mm -hmm. under heaven, everything. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the time, this present time that we're in now. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like, according to the scripture, that when you look at the scripture and it's saying, and these are scriptures, but what's going on during this time? And this is present truth at this time that, like you're saying about this canker, eating. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And like the brother was saying earlier, uh, we need to take a close look, an inventory of where we know the plague, the, 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 the first plague is going to start within the individual if you don't know, get their lives right. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. So that's the key. And then the other plagues, when they fall, uh, that that really would be sad. If you don't, if this one, this temple, I, this, this place I live in, and it started to be plagued because of sin and I won't get it out, I got a problem already. Amen. So that's why we got to be careful. The Bible says, Paul said he did what? He took an inventory. Mm -hmm. See, Roy needs to be taking an inventory, make sure that I'm cutting it, so to speak. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. anyone else? And getting back to, oh, go ahead, Brother Wayne. Are you going to it? No, just what Brother Roy just shared about an inventory. There's a scripture that says um, that we are to. Um, it's something. It's something along the lines of work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But there's another yeah. one that says that um, we are to examine ourselves that yeah. we, we be of the faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then it's another one that says that we think we have eternal life. That's what I'm <laughs> Amen. Yeah, but yeah, we have to be careful. If we're not, you know, oftentimes used to do when I didn't understand what it means at one time in my life that I started to, you know, get wisdom and understand. Mm -hmm. What is this about keeping these commandments, keeping these commandments? And and you know, and a lot of times we weren't taught the actual meaning somebody the actual meaning mm -hmm. of keeping commandments and understanding the importance of thereof 
But now that I understand that the uh, the significance and importance of keeping God's word so that we can actually grow, learn and grow. Amen. Yeah. But, yes. Uh, so like I said, it's very important that we know why we should do something. And when you read the commandments, it says, think about the scripture says to make one wise unto, you know, even unto salvation. Think about that. We need to know that this is important for us to do to understand why we should keep the, the, the word of God, because it is the living word. And keep his commandments so that we can, yeah. But anyway, we should keep keep these commandments. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Amen. Verse 18. Who, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow <laughs> the faith of some? Now, that, I kind of want to stop there, Brother Roy, just because go ahead. <laughs> it said that the resurrection is past already. Uh, what, what comes to mind there when I read that is this error that Satan has brought in that many say that Jesus' death did mm -hmm. away with the law. Mm -hmm. and, and that we no longer have to keep the law. That's right. Because of, but we, we know that that's, that, that that the ceremonial laws were done away with at the cross, not mm -hmm. God's Ten Commandment law. Right, right. Okay. And so when I when I read that, Brother Roy, that's what came to my mind is that we have, and when it says saying that the resurrection is past already, um, that's we, right. We know that you know that, it, that Jesus is coming back as well. So the second coming of Christ, he's coming back again. And then when it says that last part, and overthrow the faith of some, because if that had happened, then it would, it would almost destroy the faith of some because it's, it's already passed. See what I'm saying? So a lot of that, like you said, is Satan trying to de destroy what we believe. Amen. Oh, and, and we can how, how this is this is this is deep a deep statement. All statements of Christ are deep, but uh, Revelation uh, question Second Timothy two eighteen you know, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already. But Jesus mm -hmm. is the resurrection, and this exactly. and the second coming is the resurrection, the first yes. resurrection, and so. Of course, many people will be overthrown. The faith That's that right. Jesus is is willingly giving to to people mm -hmm. is uh, is being rejected because mm -hmm. not only not only um, unbelief in regarding the the state of the dead. That's right. One, one is believing and in, in preaching the truth that Johnny or Susie is already up in heaven. That's right. <laughs> that's, denying, that's denying Jesus himself, who is the resurrection. Yeah. What would he come back to? And, yes. And, <laughs> and, and denying his second coming, which is, which is the same. That's and right. Some, faith, will, faith will be overthrown. Faith that's right. Many, Amen. Faith, some will be overthrown. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, to, so, because, you know, mm -hmm. today people don't preach about um, the second coming of Christ often. I heard one funeral. This mm -hmm. is a great side. A, a pastor preached uh, about the second coming of Christ. Wow. And never even heard, never even heard a mm -hmm. first day pastor preaching about the second coming of Christ and then preaching about the second coming of Christ at a at a uh, funeral service right there at the grave. Wow. Uh, praise wow. God. That's amazing. That's crazy. You know what? That's a good point, Brother Wayne. You don't hear them talking about these present truths. We don't, and then. Uh, they don't talk about the second coming of Christ. So that's why a lot of times people are unfamiliar with it, even in the church. Isn't that sad? And until we, like you said, like, like you and the brother, we were talking, we got to make sure that we're teaching this and this three angels message. And that's present truth. We got to, because a lot of people will be what it says in that verse right there. They will be 
they would be overthrown. That's right. And Roy, but the thing that we oftentimes hear from those that may or may not have mm -hmm. a, a full understanding is yeah. why are we always talking about it? Well, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it's the one it's the one thing it's the breach. Yes, you know, it's, the, it's the area right yeah. that that where yeah. where people well and it's going to be the test. The, yes, it is to to see who is God's and who is not God's. Mm -hmm. And you know, like when you go back to, since you said that, and you know, when you go back to, uh, we weren't taught the Sabbath, we weren't taught the Sabbath, the right way, for example, the right Sabbath. And that's the breach, like you say. Amen. And, and people don't understand that the significance of the Sabbath and the Sabbath's rest and what that's all about and how he hallowed the Sabbath sabbath day and here we are keeping a false sabbath for example when we didn't know any better so that to me that's that's the breach that would carry people and they would like it says in uh that verse they would be what overthrown and that's what the intent of the enemy was to actually get us off with the breach and then destroy us if we don't get back if somebody don't throw us the lifeline of teaching us the truth you see what i'm saying yeah so that's 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 why we need to, like you said, we need to keep talking about this, keep saying it. And and now go ahead. I was just saying, yes, we need to keep talking about this. Amen. Yeah. And overthrow you know, overthrow the faith of some in Revelation right. 12 is based on the same here they the keep commands of God and the faith of Jesus. Of faith, amen. And and so, so, faith of some right. and so, the truth they, 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 they turn in the gospel truth of Jesus right. upside down, as it were. Yeah, and, and then, right. and then and, you think uh, about 14, it. 13, blessed are the dead, which die in the Lord from henceforth. Mm -hmm. He says the spirit, and then they rest from their labors and their works through father in us. Yeah. About the dead, the dead are really dead. You know, and waiting, waiting right. for the, Christ, the first resurrection by the grace of God. Amen. And, uh, and then think about how when we, when we are actually, it, it's sad that a lot of people, that's in the churches thinking that they have things right and they actually don't because of the breach. Isn't that sad? I mean, it's, it's, and it's, it is dangerous too. Because that, I mean, that's sad in, in that uh, we're, just like the brother said, when they reject the, what we're giving them, they're not rejecting us, they're rejecting him. Amen. And it could cost them everything. And see, that's the significance. That's why, just like Brother Wayne is talking, we need to make sure that we continue to say this. Just like you were saying, we need to keep talking about this. Because I'm telling you, I was, I was in the church thinking that I was doing the right thing, being faithful, being there all the time. But I was on the wrong day. It just be, you know what I mean? Because we weren't taught. All these, all these years that I've been in the church, I'm using me for an example. Knowing the ten, hearing of the Ten Commandments, but no one specified the Fourth Commandment, and we should keep that day. Amen. I'm just being honest. I'm just saying. And so, look at all the time that I've actually, all the years that I, and people, I was teaching the Word, and I was trying to live by the Word, but that one thing, I liked that one thing, which was the main thing. Okay. Amen. And, and and I think a lot of people forget that God loves us. You know, he's it, it's like a, a loving parent for a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're you're you, what are you going to tell the child? You aren't going to if you see the child about to fall off a cliff, you're not going to tell them to brush their teeth. You're going to tell them, you know, you're going to send them a lifeline to help them to not fall. That's and right. Protect them, and so what? What I see the Sabbath, and 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 the this this mark of the beast that we know is coming to deceive, and you know, brother Roy, brother Wayne mentioned even about the state mm -hmm. of the dead. That's right. We, we know that the two last great deceptions are going to be in this order. 
That's right. Immort immortality of the soul. Mm -hmm. and, and then Sunday sacredness. And, right. and I, I pray I have that in the proper order. But mm -hmm. someone correct me if I'm wrong there. But and and I believe that I said it that way because we know immortality of the soul comes first because Satan is going to uh, impersonate mm -hmm. our dead loved ones or the Satan's evil angels that is in these last days to to tell those that that hey the the Sabbath has been changed to Sunday. Yeah. And then um, th this, this um, we know that Sunday sacredness, people will then have to make a choice. That's right. Um, whether or not to worship on that day. And that's how people will receive the mark of the beast. So those, those decept God is trying mm -hmm. to keep us from being deceived Amen. in these last days. And he, right. he loves us. He's he's a loving father. Mm -hmm. He is. Amen. And that's why it says up there in 15, the study to show ourselves approved under God, not under man. And see, that's the significance that we need to make sure we're clear on. That this is about who we're serving. Praise and God. This, and this is that study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed righteously. Right. Dividing the word of truth. True. I read, I read, I read, I read further, rightfully dividing uh, means to be able to explicate or explain the truth mm -hmm. with accuracy. With accuracy. Amen. Amen. Right. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. Go ahead, Sister Michelle. Yeah. I think. All right. Verse 19, and it reads. Nevertheless, I love that word. The, <laughs> the foundation of God standeth sure. Wow. This seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and wow. let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Now, please stop right there. <laughs> but now I know we can run with that. <laughs> wow. Amen. Nevertheless, So the foundation, that foundation of God, you don't have to worry about it. Is that right? Amen. Stand it sure. Think about it. You know, yeah. Jesus talked about that to Peter about building his church on that rock. Amen. That foundation. Can you imagine having foundation to where not even the gates of hell could come against what you're doing. Can you imagine? Can we imagine that? But go ahead. Well, Lord, I can, I can, the Lord is showing me now. I never looked at this. Never saw this. Uh -huh. Never let the foundation of God mm -hmm. stand it sure. Having yes, this sir. seal. Well, we know that the Sabbath is the seal. And yes. Of the living God. But look, oh. it is the foundation of this earth. Yeah. The Sabbath. Everything rests on the Sabbath. Everything. All wow. that he made the six, during the six working days rests yeah. on, on the Sabbath. That's right. Foundation, the foundation. The foundation of the world of the world is the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Wow. I never looked at that. Wow. That's so blessed. Praise, praise God. Also, Brother Wayne, to your point, <laughs> when it says depart from iniquity, <laughs> that, that rest from sin that is synonymous with the sabbath rest that's right no, no question about it no question about it uh actually 20, actually 26 20, uh, talks about the same the same subject acts 3 and 26 it says uh god having raised up his son unto you first god having raised up his son jesus sent him mm -hmm. sent him to bless you in turning yes. away every one of you from his iniquities. Mm -hmm. You see the purpose of the Sabbath. Wow. It's, it's for sanctification. Mm -hmm. Which means freedom from sin. That's right. That's why, that's why, he, that's why he gave us the Sabbath. More walls, I gave them my Sabbath. To be a sign between me and them or you. 
that you may know that I'm the Lord that sanctifies you. Or Amen. You or from sinning. I'm the one. He is the one. Mm. Wow. What a blessing. And, and that's why, oh, go ahead, Brother Roy. No, go ahead, Brother Wayne. Brother, Wayne. Brother Wayne, I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. Go ahead, sister. No, that's why I was saying earlier, too, that uh, when we, the Sabbath is the prerequisite because yeah. um, oftentimes people are trying to, and, and I say the Sabbath, but we know Jesus yeah. is, it's his life, his life. <laughs> Um, yes. but, but the Sabbath rest gives is God uses that and has set that in place to give us that 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 fuel and that that um, divine power to to, to walk out and live out mm -hmm. what He's calling us to and to depart from sin and to, right. to rest from sin and oftentimes. When people continually are falling into the same traps That's and, right. and desiring the, the things of the world, it, the Sabbath is what help God uses to has God has in, has instituted to help us to not look to the things of the world. It, it it's a whole different mindset. Yes, Amen. Well put. Wow, that's why we'll be able to to have the name of God the Father written in our forehead. Different mindset. Praise where the, where, where the, the cerebrum stands, where the cerebrum is. Wow. Where the thought process takes place. Amen. Different mindset. Praise God. Amen. Wow. And you shared in previously, Brother Wayne, about how no matter how far we've come in 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 our walk spiritually and how how mature we are, that every time we enter in to that Sabbath rest, he gives us more, hey. more hey. grace. Yes. And more of everything we need. And yes. it's 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 more, and it's his. It's all his. Yeah. Man. Man. You know, uh, there has been a lot of wisdom go forward here today within this scriptural reference. It's been a blessing. Uh, yeah. When you look at the, and then even in verse 20, look at what it says. You know, we're going to try to, I know time is progressing. It's already 12, 54. Uh, can you read just a little bit more, Sister Michelle, so that before we finish? Amen. This is awesome. I'm being Praise blessed by God. It. In verse 20, um, for those who joined, welcome, Brother Bowers. This is, We're in 2 Timothy chapter 2 excuse me, and verse 20. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Amen. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use prepared unto every good work. Verse 22, flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Wow. But, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing Boy. that they do gender stripes. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all, apt to teach, patient. Amen. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Right. Verse 26. And they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are Come taken on. captive by him at his will. 
Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. What, whew, what a blessing. Amen. Praise God. So I pray that God continue to add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word to us all. Amen. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed everything about the Sabbath study today. God is really working in and through the lives of a lot of people on this Zoom. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise God. Thank God for you all. Amen. Amen. But anyway, I'm going to leave. I'm going to put it back over in the hand of you, Sister Michelle. Twelve fifty-seven. I don't want to, you know, uh, here for testimonies, whatever. I mean, you know, whichever way you lead, the Lord leads. Praise God, and and I just I do want to um, thank God for today's study and for the comments and and what God is sharing with us, um, mm -hmm. even in that last the last few verses that were read um, mm -hmm. where it talked about again this this striving and I just see God telling us through his word mm -hmm. there's a big misconception in the in among professed Christians that it's easier to it's harder to be a Christian than it is to be mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's easier, it's easier to be lost mm -hmm. than to be saved, which is mm -hmm. to say a, a lot of people believe that this Christian journey is a struggle. Mm -hmm. and they do. When I, but when I read verse 25, mm -hmm. it says it's very clear that, mm -hmm. and actually I'm, I said verse 25, verse 24, it says, and the servant of the Lord must not strive. That's right. That that to me says that that's a struggle. I mean, or that's <laughs> Jesus yoke is easy. Burden light. Amen. So praise God, Brother Roy, for bringing this out through the study. And I, I truly do believe that even getting back to the Sabbath rest, mm -hmm. you know, there's there is nothing when you just to think of the word rest. There is yes. nothing in that word that is synonymous with striving or struggling. Right. At this time, we will open it up. If there are no other comments, I'll, I'll give a moment. If there are any other comments before we go into. Um, and if, if you all had a song, we're happy to hear it, a closing hymn, or we'll go straight after that into testimonies and prayer requests. So any final comments from anyone? On the study, I got I got a comment just for um, um, little little brother Roy Royce, mm -hmm. and and for any and for any any other person. This, this is what the Lord showed me um, this week. I'm sure you guys have seen this too. Um, mm -hmm. But if, but if anybody wants to inquire as to how old God is, mm -hmm. the Bible the Bible gives us an answer. The Bible says in Job 36 and verse 26, Behold, God is great, and ye know him not, neither can the number of his years be searched out. Mm. That's a succinct answer. His years cannot be searched out. Amen. That's what the Bible says. How can you repeat the, the, the verse, Brother Wayne? Verse 26, Job, Job 36, Job 36, and verse 26. Amen. God, thank you. Praise the Lord. Good to know. That's a blessing. Without awesome. number. Amen. 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 Wow. You be, be counting for a long time, won't we? If we if we Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We never will end. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I like to make this comment, so to Michelle. Amen. That's why I'm so glad it says study. Mm -hmm. With study to show that mm -hmm. several books. 
I'm so glad we can come together and study. We all get this type of takeaway. We get we all get a blessing out of it. That's what that's what to me. That's the important, most important thing it is for us to all get this so Amen. that we can take it and give someone else. Praise Amen. God. What a God. Amen. God. We have a song. I'm, I'm inspired to sing this song. Yeah, we got to sing a little bit of this, you know, mine. Praise so God. Yes. Yeah. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Sing it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and praise the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 